What's up, YouTube? Gemini Johnny back again with day 13 of TikToktober, where I'm taking you through the weirdest, creepiest, and most unexplained TikToks I can find every single day for the month of October. That's right, join me right here at 4.15 p.m. PST for the premiere of a brand new video all spooky season long. And if you like this video, if you'd like and comment, I'd really appreciate it. All right, now without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, this one is, the caption is in another language, and I used Google Translate to see what it said, and it says it's Indonesian, and the translation is, the ending is until the dawn call to prayer, we can only sleep. Uh, so I don't know what that means, but. I don't know what that says. If anybody wants to translate for me, that'd be great. What's the little kid sounds? Definitely weird. So I'm guessing the captions on that probably explained a lot of what was going on, but I could definitely hear some weird kids like laughing and talking or something in the background. So I'm wondering if that's what woke them up. I don't know if you guys know this, but on TikTok, it'll t uh, if they add a song from TikTok, it'll tag the song in the caption of the TikTok. And it just has one of the regular like creepy TikTok sounds that we hear all the time that's, that's tagged in it, even though I don't even know if I remember hearing it in this video. The song isn't actually in, it's this song here, hold on. We hear it all the time. It's in like every other TikTok pretty much. But I'm guessing what they did was put the song on there because you can search through TikToks that use the same sound, the same song. So I'm guessing they just put the song on there and then took the sound out so that you could hear the actual video that's going on. But it would still pop up under the sound for that song is my guess. Not that it matters or that anybody cares, but you know, just trying to get to the bottom of this. They definitely seemed scared. I mean, I'll give them that. To be fair, we can't see the bottom of the lamp, so it's possible that like a cat ran across and like, or like pushed it over or something and that's what made it fall. <laughs> see, the whole lamp fell over, so I mean, three foot content. Gross. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, definitely weird. I don't know. It's really hard to say when it's in another language and I can't comprehend it. Don't watch alone. Which like, they put don't watch alone on a lot of TikToks. As if like people are sitting around having a group TikTok session. Like, oh, save that for Thursday night when we all get together and watch TikToks. I mean, I guess we do that for my channel, but I'm making a video and then we all watch it together. I don't know, <laughs> it's a weird thing. The following footage was posted by Rochelle G who had caught something disturbing while exploring an abandoned house. The house used to belong to a happily wed couple who were known as the Evanroods. But then one night, something very tragic happened to the couple. Mr. and Mrs. Evanrood were relaxing at home when out of nowhere, an intruder breaks in and kills them both. The good. couple's family was devastated upon hearing about this. They decided to not sell the house out of respect for the couple. But after a while, they decided to rent out the property. However, Renters complained of strange occurrences, some of which are just creepy. From drastic temperature changes to seeing shadow-like figures standing outside their window, renters had enough reason to leave the place. The house has been abandoned ever since. That is until Rochelle goes inside and begins to record. She hopes to capture footage of the strange occurrences reported by tenants, but little does she know that something very unsettling would be caught on camera. This is what she caught. This house is not rented out. What are we talking about? On the bottom, it says breathing due to something. It's cut off. This is very obviously not a, a lived in house. Not in a very long time, at least. I can't, it's all cut off. I don't know what this says or what it's circling.
This is almost worse than just making the video small. They just cut off two thirds of the video on each side. It sucks. I'm guessing we'll see what we need to see though. Michelle continues to explore, but something downright creepy is caught on camera without her noticing. Be sure to pay close attention or you'll miss it. Ooh. Big ass hand. As Rochelle pans the camera to the door, a silhouette of what appears to be a hand can be seen in the corner. It is only seen for about a second before quickly disappearing behind the doorway. Rochelle walks over to where the hand was spotted, but when she gets there, the space is empty. Now that's creepy. <laughs> now what's even more unsettling about this is the fact that the hand appears at the spot where Miss Evanrude had been found dead. Could it be that Miss Evanrude's oh, apparition was, was caught saying. on camera? Or was something else caught instead? Perhaps this might have been a squatter who was spying on Rochelle, but given that the space where they were seen is cornered with no exit, it isn't certain as to what exactly was captured. One thing's for sure though, Rochelle doesn't plan on coming back to this place, as what was seen on footage has left her spooked. Oh yeah, big hand Evanrude, that's what we called her when she was still around. She had big ol' hands. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, it's weird, creepy, but I don't, I don't understand why you would say people they're renting this house out. Unless maybe that's the plan, and they're there to film how rough of shape it's in, so that they can know what they're dealing with. That might have been the case, I guess. Yeah, that's nobody's lived in that house in many years. It doesn't even look like the door closes. Maybe she just left it open for the light. I don't know. It literally was like I was just hit by something. Are you okay? Like, freaking. I have no idea what that was. What the fuck was that? What do you did you hear that? Yeah, what is going on? I don't know. I don't like it though. I don't either. The windmill's going pretty crazy. There's no wind. That doesn't take a lot, but let's see if we can. <coughs> Here's that damn smoke again. I was just gonna say, make it stop. Hmm. That's weird. The thing was spinning, spinning too. It wasn't like barely moving. None of those leaves are moving. What, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? What was that? What was that? What the fuck? What is that, dude? What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? It's a cat. I think it was a cat. What the fuck was that? E? Where the hell are you? Where's the Ika? Where's the Ika? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Yeah, what was that? What was that? No, that looked like a freaking like a live lady. stream or you something. You saw a freaking face. Yeah, and then I heard something like the possum. <laughs> the fuck is that? It jumped off the headstone. I don't know. I'm tired of trying to figure it out, but I think it was a cat. Could have been like a possum or something, but... <laughs> Dude, I would have been exactly the same. Squealing and running away just like that, because you're out in the cemetery in the middle of the night. You, It's going to be creepy. The creep factor's already elevated. And something jumps out of you from on top of a headstone and starts running after you. Yeah, it'd probably freak me out too. But if it's a kitty, you better go give him some pets. He was trying to play with you. Paranormal activity caught on camera, part 25. Take a photo, take a photo, take a photo. Oh no, how scary, I wanna cry. Take a photo, take a photo. Take a photo. Place in an allegedly haunted hospital. 
Now the story goes that the spirit of a little girl who passed away still wanders the hospital halls, unable to move on. Down in the hospital cafeteria, the staff working the late night shift experience something that makes their blood run cold. Oh no, that's scary. I want to cry. Take a photo. Take a photo. Photo. Oh, it's recording. It's recording? Stop playing, girl. Oh no, no, I'm scared. Little girl? No way, no way, no way. Little girl, we're playing. Come here. She went over there. The door is there open. Both open. She's out, maybe. I never get scared, but now I'm really... Oh no, no, that's scary. I never get scared, and now... Oh no, stop, stop, stop. There she is. What do you need, little girl? No, no, no. Do you need something? Oh! Oh no, little girl. Did the light turn on? As the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors on the other side. No, thank you. Don't like it. That was some random account, but that video is originally from Nukes Top 5. Shout out Nukes Top 5, another one of my favorite content creators. Shadow walking by was creepy. Like, the stuff moving around could be explained, but you probably can't explain that shadow. That's weird. Now, I'm pretty sure we've seen this girl and her husband, I assume, before. The boys supposedly got creepy stuff happening in their house, so let's see what's going on today. We have captured one of the most scariest videos ever today. I'm still a bit shaken. Um, this is what my dad's camera caught of my reaction. Dad? Dad? Oh, it's her dad, my bad. Oh my god. Dad? Dad! <laughs> and this is what my camera caught of my dad. You know how you do this when you're cold? Oh, and I always do this when I'm cold. Oh, I'm cold. Oh, I'm so chilly. Let me get a nice little breeze inside my shirt because I'm so chilly. What? Dad? 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 Oh my god. Dad? Dad? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing? <sighs> Why have you okay. done that? Why have you just shouted that at me? I shouted, stop shouting, I've got a headache. Oh my god, what are you doing? I haven't shouted. Yes, you have, you just shouted, get out. I haven't. And your face looks so different. It's gone there. What are you doing? Why have you just done that? I haven't done anything. This, things are all over the floor. I don't touch them. He's Your not lying, he didn't so touch him. Different. What the f did you just do? I don't know, I just had a massive headache. So I remember. I had my head down and I had a headache. But then you started screaming. Why did you you're gonna have to watch that back? You didn't you didn't look yourself. I felt weird. I felt a bit out of body at the moment. Oh my god. You frightened the death out of me when you felt that like kind of woke me up, if you know what I mean. Oh. Honestly, you, I was like, hello, hello, and then you just screamed I don't remember out, any of that. That just fell off the table. I remember you asking me if I was okay. That was it. And then you screamed. God. Give me myself a f like that. Put your hand out. Oh, I can see him shaking for real. I've got my glasses on. Well, I didn't mean to. I was went really cold, then I had like a splitting headache, like a migraine type thing. But I felt ill if you ever as well. I feel sick now. You don't, you don't remember that at all? No, I don't you. remember shouting. No, I remember you shouting. We probably better stop doing it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to watch it back. 
I'll be on that camera. Oh my god. Dad. Oh my god. Dad. Dad. <laughs> He kind of looks like he kind of looks like the dad from Married with Children, Al Bundy or uh, Ed O'Neill. <laughs> he also plays Al Bundy, but but yeah, I mean, I would like to think that we're all smart enough to know that this is just a good effect. But in case we're not like 90% of the comments on TikTok, it does appear that this device, here, I'll make sure you can actually see it as it goes. It gets pulled out and yanked down. So I don't know, you guys. Down. When things fly off because of ghostly things, they don't usually get yanked down as if they're attached to fishing line or something. And how come his glasses and other camera didn't go flying? I really should do a debunking video. The problem with doing debunking videos is this is the this is these people's livelihoods now. And like they make good content. So I'm not, you know, I, I just don't like the fact that they're trying to pass this off as if it's real paranormal activity. When to me, it's very clear that they set that up and did that and then put some kind of filter or something on his face. I could be wrong. Hey, if they want to sponsor me to come out and do an overnight investigation in their house, by all means. First class, business class. Fancy chef. <laughs> the top this one says a father captured this when her daughter was playing with a doll. The Fuck that. Which one's the doll? What in the world? Dylan, what's... What are you doing? Dylan, stop. 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 <laughs> Dylan, stop. <laughs> Dylan, stop. Right now, stop. What is going on in here? Dylan, I don't know. Dylan, please stop. Please, please. Just listen, please. Bro, you need to get rid of that freaking kid, man. Get her out of here. That's a creepy ass little kid. Take her ass to Disneyland and lose her on accident. Why is that doll moving though? Dylan, what's, what are you doing? The dolls in there moving, bro. To be fair, there could be somebody in that little tent making it move. There might be another kid. Doesn't even have to be a kid, but creepy. The beginning of this one has a high quality version of this clipped in. So, matting it again. <laughs> it's good every time. Oh, and by the way, since I've never known until I put it in last week's video and somebody tagged me on Twitter, but this is Brandon Ferris. He's I'm Brandon Ferris on like everything. F-A-R-R-I-S. So that's cool. Shout out Brandon Ferris. He's funny. So yeah, go give him a follow. He's on all the socials. He's on TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. If natives were on Jackass, this is going to be good. My name is Jay and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> You want a hot Cheeto? <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, I'm one of these people at Halloween Horror Nights. This is—I don't think that's what this is, but because you don't drive through Halloween Horror Nights. But yeah, if you happen to be at Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Los Angeles, I would say look out for me. But I have a mask on, so you're not going to see me. But if you let me know you're coming through, I'll try to keep an out for you and scare the crap out of you. But to be honest, I'm probably going to do that anyway because I'm really good at it. Yes, I will post pictures and stuff eventually, but I'm technically not allowed to. So once the job is over, I'll post them in November. Honestly, I could probably do it and get away with it, but I'm not risking it, all right? It's a cool job. It's a lot of fun, but it's been kicking my ass. You'd be surprised how sore you get just lunging out at people over and over. Anyway. Wow, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he said hi. How you doing? Jack. 
Jack? Who's Jack? In the front. Oh, in the front? He found it. Oh my God. Yes, I found it. It said die. You skipped that? Wait, what did you say? Oh my God. Yes, I found it. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, that was cool. Seventeen, same. Um, oh. Wow. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he said hi. How you doing? Jack. Jack? Who's Jack? In the front. Oh, in the front? He found it. But oh my god. Yes, I found it. This would be crazy if she went over to the headstone and it said Jack, but I guess we'll never know. Somebody in the comments said that they were in a Masonic cemetery and the app told them John Campbell, clockwise, triangle, found him just back to the right. It was amazing. That would be nuts, dude. And I would like to see video evidence of that. Like this. If she would have went over to that headstone and it said Jack, I would have been blown away. Uh, as you can see on the screen, that's New York Nikki 8. I don't know what just happened there. That was weird. But yeah, as you can see on the screen, this is New York Nikki 18. My fault. I think I said 8 a second ago. One next to the eyes fucking me up. And I know I've talked about it before, but I don't know how trustworthy these apps are. That being said, I do, whenever, if I ever get a free couple hours or something, uh, want to go out to cemeteries here in Los Angeles and try them out. I mean... You know, I have them on my phone and haven't really ever messed around with them. Every once in a while, something weird is happening. I'll pull out the SLS version one to see if anything pops up. And so far, nothing yet. But I do want to go mess around with these. I think my big issue is that it's on my phone and I need my phone to record. I know you can record within the app, but I would like to record myself using the app. So I, I almost need like another body to hold a camera and also a camera. I guess somebody else with a phone would work. But yeah, so I might do it in the near future. I don't know. I would like to. Yeah, I used to go hang out in cemeteries all the time, but that was back when they didn't have apps for that kind of thing. So what do you guys think about about those apps do you think they're trustworthy or do you think they just program stuff into them to tell you creepy things and if i did go out and start doing messing around in cemeteries with one of those apps would you prefer to see that in like a full long form video of everything that happened or do you want to see like clips of the interesting parts if anything happens let me know in the comments i'm actually kind of curious because i do want to do that in the future so Is that a leg? I'm so confused by everything I just saw. Cosas que los humanos nunca debieron ver. What's that mean? Well, I translated it and that didn't help. It just says things that humans should never see. Imagine if we had to use headphones through our eyeballs. This one I'm guessing is like a one of those sea wraps or something. Maybe they wrap you up in sand because that's a foot. This is somebody's leg, but it also kind of looks like a kid's leg, which is weird. And this, I, don't, I mean, it's obviously like AI, right? It's cool though. Watch these two separate events, and you tell me if they are the same. Oh my god. It's gotta be drones, right? Yeah, definitely drones. <laughs> Bro, what the f- <gasps> What? 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 Why isn't my phone focusing? It says Palmdale, California, August 16th, 2024. I didn't even hear about this. Also, why would they be doing a drone show in Palmdale, you know? Hawaii, I get, there's lots of tourists, but... Who are they doing? Who's in Palmdale that's doing a drone show? You hear this shaking in their breathing? You They're think? terrified. Do you believe? Yes. Uh, that's Hallucination Hippies on TikTok, as you can see. It is interesting, they do look kind of similar. I mean, oh, the first one we know is a drone show. It was the Pokemon World drone show some Pokemon event, I guess. That's kind of cool. Are people still playing Pokemon Go? I haven't played it in forever. Wait, these were the same day? These were all August 15th? Oh. Oh, weird. The first, these drone shows from the Pokemon world 
Day was August 15th, and then the Palmdale UFO was August 16th. That is interesting. Yeah, and they, were, they weren't, to be fair, the hallucination hippies wasn't trying to pass the first part off as UFOs. They, they said multiple times and in the caption that it's a drone show. They're just comparing it to the second one in Palmdale that is potentially a UFO sighting. There is a reason to have a drone show in Palmdale, California. Apparently every year for the last five years, or four years, five years, something like that, they've had the Kaleidoscope Art Festival, October 11th and 12th. Literally just happened yesterday, the last two days, as of you watching this. And they have a drone show every year at the Kaleidoscope Art Festival. Now, it doesn't seem that far-fetched to think that a month beforehand, they might have been doing a practice run of that drone show. Now, that being said, it is weird that this one, this thing just kind of hovers. Like, it's not really doing a drone show. It's just sitting there. I wonder who the original poster of this Palmdale video was. Because I would love to find the full version of this. See if it does anything. Because right now that doesn't look like a drone show. What do you think? I don't know, man. That's weird. Yeah, I, I fully believe a lot of the things in the sky that we see that are unexplained have completely normal explanations. Like, I'm sure there's been drone shows that have been mistaken for UFOs and UAPs. That being said, I don't know about this one, man. Because I did watch some of the drone show from a past year and from the Kaleidoscope Art Festival, and they do things. They don't just hover in the sky. That's not a show. That's a fake UFO, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know. So this one, you guys might remember it. I, I don't remember if I put it in a video or if I took it out because I didn't understand what was weird other than the guy just sitting there. You guys, because I, I saw it again recently while I was searching for videos and I watched it again and I noticed something I'd never noticed before. And it's probably because it's AI voice points it out, but check it out. Hold on. Why is someone peeking through this man's window like that? What's even stranger is he's just sitting there, staring at a blank TV, holding a remote with nothing on the screen. We don't and know the TV's fork, blank, to be fair, it's but like it's what the hell? All on its own. What's going on with that you fork, dude? You can't ignore how he's just sitting in the dark. It's not also not dark. Anything. Like he's locked in his own world. Let's keep watching and see if anything else happens. All right, here's what has people seriously creeped out. There's no show playing, no sound, just silence. Some are saying that it might be a loved one, you know, something watching over him. Or maybe it's just something darker. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that fork sitting there like that freaked me out. It doesn't move. So, I mean, it could be a prop or something, I guess. And to be fair, this guy at the very beginning, he does move a little bit. Watch his hand. He is, he is moving just a tiny bit and he freezes it up. Also, that the wine glass on the other plate is full. But like, you guys see what I'm talking about, right? This is what the... What's happening here? There's nobody sitting there, but the fork has got spaghetti on it and don't understand. Oh, this is Heart Starts Pounding on TikTok. She's great. I love her stuff. She does a podcast too. Uh, to be honest, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm sure it's good because all her content is really good. So This story is why I'm terrified of crawl spaces. Back in 1999, a guy named Hamid moved into a house in Long Island. But as he's settling in for the first night with his wife, he notices that on one of the floors, there's like this outline. Like it looks like there's a trap door in the floor. So he pulls it open and he realizes that there's a huge space under the house that was not disclosed in the listing. So he goes down there and he realizes there's only one thing down there. It's a tightly sealed barrel from 1963. Also, this is coming from this week's episode of the podcast, which is all horrifying stories from basements and crawl spaces, including the very real story of a woman who found multiple jars of tongues in her crawl space. Hamid doesn't know what to do with this barrel, so he leaves it for the garbage men to come collect. But when the garbage man comes, he gets this really bad feeling about the barrel, like it shouldn't be thrown away and he refuses to take it. So Hamid's like, I guess I'll just open it. And he grabs a crowbar and he starts opening the lid. And once he pops it open, he sees the worst possible thing anyone could see inside this barrel. Inside the barrel was the body of a pregnant woman that was put there in the late 60s by a previous owner. In this episode of the podcast, I get more into who she was and why she was put there and share some other horrifying basement tales perfect for spooky season. So check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Her podcast is called Heart Starts Pounding, Horrors, Hauntings, and Mysteries. Um, and the episode she's talking about is up at the top two, 84, three stories that prove you shouldn't go in your basement. And that's why I don't have a basement. Also, I live in an apartment. Yeah, her stuff's great. I'm sure the podcast is good. I actually might go check that one out because that's a very interesting story. And it's only 26 minutes. It's a short podcast and she gives you three stories. So that's kind of cool. When you go explore an old barn and... Uh-oh. See something you probably shouldn't have seen. Oh my God. The runes all over the walls, dude. They're everywhere. 
Dude, somebody spent some time making that place creepy. It's almost like too perfect of a creepy place. Like, I wonder if somebody did that for a movie or something and then just left it. But it's like every inch of that place is covered in some kind of symbol. Make it more creepy. Put the candles around. Light them up. Dude, if I found that place when I was a kid, that would have so been my clubhouse. I would have hung out there all the time. Hmm. <laughs> So here's another one, SCP-999. We've seen this, I've seen this video a hundred times probably, but never known it to be an SCP. It's just so weird that something like that can fly completely under my radar when I'm so into this kind of stuff. It's a panda. Panda, panda, panda. Siren head. Oh, we just saw this. He'll always have this frame. <laughs> this still shot, at least, you know, he can print that and put it on his wall or something. Three scary video. Was she going to snatch him or something? Just an old lady saying hi to a baby, right? What's happening here? Oh, dang. It wasn't that scary. He just snatched our phone. What do these fine gentlemen want? I don't understand people that are like, well, if we just go steal the ring camera, they won't be able to tell it was us. Like, how dumb do you gotta be to, know, to not know that that uploads to a cloud and is accessible even if they don't have the camera? This is the random guy. It's a random guy. Oh, gate. I thought he said guy. I've been to a bridge. Now, I'm quite into my... I like spooky things. But, see when you start walking across here, the energy completely changes. It's like it gets static. I've never seen this gate open once. And I was too scared to go and have a look, but look, it's padlocked. It's not a bit, it's broken, but it's padlocked. It's probably somebody's property. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. Well, you gotta go now. Nope, oh, she just walked into a fey trap. Oh, look at all that. Oh my god, don't walk through that. It's good way to Narnia. There's a whole bunch of poison ivy right there. Fun fact, I'm highly allergic to poison ivy. And if that, if I'm like downwind from that crap, I'll catch it. And when I get it, man, oh, it's not even itchy, dude. It hurts. It's like, I, like one time I had it so bad, it, I, I thought I was going to end up in the hospital. It was my entire legs were covered. I could barely bend my knees. I had to call out of work because I couldn't walk. My legs were like swollen to, I don't know, 50% bigger than they usually are. They're all red and patchy. Dude, oh, I hate poison ivy. It's enough to make me not want to go into the woods, I'll tell you that much. I've been that way my whole life, it sucks. I have an uncle who used to brag about, I can go roll around in it and not get it. I'm good for you, dick. I'm over here removing my outermost skin layer. Well, you're, you're cool. Anyway. It was watching him. Hello? This guy found a pit in the middle of the desert on Google Earth and went to check it out. But when he got there, something strange happened. Whoa. He found a person standing at the bottom of the pit, so he calls out to them. Hello? But no one answers. At this point, he wasn't sure if someone was pulling a prank, or if something ominous was luring him down there. But he decides to go into the pit anyways. Halfway through, he starts hearing an odd alarm go off. Hear that? Like and immediately goes back. Turns out, it was just his drone controller. On <laughs> edge, but still curious. He sends his drone down there, and captures this. 
A strange statue was propped up at the bottom of the pit, possibly set up as a target for shooting practice. Luckily, there wasn't anything to fear. But who do you think put that statue there? Yeah, it's definitely weird. But look, if there's graffiti all over the walls, you're probably okay. Because if, like, if a bunch of punk teenagers can go down there and be okay, you're going to be all right. Uh, definitely creepy. Why? Who, who puts a statue at the bottom of a cave? But there you have it, folks. That is day 13 of TikToktober in the books. We did it. We done it. We're doing it some more. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like for me. I'd really appreciate it. The Men in Black showed up on my doorstep last night and said that if this video doesn't receive enough likes, that they're going to wipe my memory away. And look, I forget enough stuff as it is, so please just drop a like for me so they don't have to come back. These guys are creepy. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss when I drop a new video or go live for a live stream. Or you can check out all the links in the description of this video. Got all kinds of stuff. And if you click and buy anything or subscribe to anything, then I might get a small commission. It is another way to support the channel, but if not, then I'm just glad you're right here and watching. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I love you. So until next time, stay creepy.